please welcome Pam McKinnon. Um, there is no one like Uma Thurman. She is a fantastic actor. Her career is a surprising and unpredictable series of amazing roles. Her choice of roles on screen, and luckily for me, on stage, have often been unconventional, and Uma, with extraordinary skill, grace, and guts, brings genuine humanity to each of them. Her childhood might seem unconventional compared to yours or mine. Her mother was a top fashion model who now runs a breathtaking mountain spa and retreat center. And her father is a professor and one of this country's foremost Buddhist scholars, somewhat unconventional. Growing up, everyone's parents had house guests, aunts, uncles, cousins. Uma's parents had house guests too, aunts, uncles, cousins, the Dalai Lama. Uh, most definitely unconventional. She started modeling as a teenager, which led to early acting roles. When other young actresses of her generation were making teenage comedies, Uma Thurman could be found in Terry Gilliam's The Adventures of Baron Munchausen and Stephen Freer's Dangerous Liaisons. Uma has always made her own way. She has worked with Quentin Tarantino, but she's also worked with Merchant Ivory. She can play a martial arts master. She can play a Broadway actress who is playing Marilyn Monroe. She's probably best known for her unforgettable portrayal of Mia Wallace in Quentin Tarantino's classic Pulp Fiction, for which she got an Oscar nomination. And that performance is definitely iconic as her role of the bride in the Kill Bill film franchise is also. Henry and June, The Truth About Cats and Dogs, Les Miserables, Beautiful Girls, Gattaca, The Golden Bowl, Batman and Robin, The Producers, Nymphomaniac for Lars Van Trier, and Prime opposite Meryl Streep. She produced and starred in Hysterical Blindness for HBO and took home a Golden Globe for her performance. She scored an Emmy nomination for her arc on Smash. She was previously seen on stage in New York in The Misanthrope, a classic stage company production in 1999. And a couple years ago, Uma and I had a coffee. And it was set up by a mutual lawyer and it was just a coffee, you know, a general I think you'd like each other kind of coffee. And after 20 minutes of talking about um, uh, New York neighborhoods and Western Massachusetts and I don't even know what, but like easy, easy banter, um, Uma leaned across the table and said, do you think I should do theater? To which I said yes. And then I reeled off a couple classic plays that I thought would pique her interest, kind of a reading assignment list. Um, and then it occurred to me, because I had a new play that was sort of circling that I was attached to, that she'd be fantastic. And so I told her that I had a new play, and I think she would be fantastic. But I had to, I had to make sure that the playwright Agreed. You know, that's what you have to do, a little bit of due diligence. And so we left it at that. Um, I uh, left the, the, the fantastic coffee and uh, got on the phone with Bo Willman, the playwright of Parisian Woman, and said, you're not going to believe it. Just had coffee with Uma Thurman. I think she's the Parisian woman. And Bo said, she's absolutely the Parisian woman. Let's make this happen. And we did. We did. You know, and that, and that led to a spring and summer of my reading every other role and Uma reading her gigantic role in Uma's, across Uma's dining room table. Um, that led to um, some readings with some other fabulous actors and then all of a sudden we had rehearsal dates. And then all of a sudden we're in rehearsal and I'm in rehearsal with this amazing actress in this amazing company. And then she stormed the stage. She stormed the stage. And then we went through a fantastic preview process and an amazing run. And she is fearless. 
She has guts. She has huge skill with language. She is a natural to the stage. I encourage people who can do this thing in this room to hire Uma Thurman for the New York stage. And she's doing all this great work while she's also serving on the board of directors of A Room to Grow, which is an organization which helps new parents in poverty. She also lends her to support to such organizations as AMFAR, the Children's Defense Fund, and Tibet House. She's also involved with the desperate fight to save the endangered rhinoceros from extinction. She's a wonderful mother to her three kids, and she's a great friend. What I love about Uma is she's seemingly fearless. She brings her full self to bear. She has boundless energy. She is deeply kind, truly generous, demanding of herself and others, funny, and oh so smart. It's my great pleasure to award the Actors Fund Medal of Honor to Uma Thurman. It's incredibly generous of you. Um, I, Pam is uh, right. I am often fearless with the exception of public speaking, which is why I often uh, don't come to things where I'm myself. Uh, I will uh, always be grateful to you, Pam, for um, encouraging me, inviting me, and empowering me to step onto the Broadway stage and become part of this great community. Um, it uh, was an eye-opener. I realized why there was a 17-year gap or 16-year gap, something like that, in the last time I did a play. It was just the hardest work you can actually do as an actor. And um, I'm so grateful to the Actors Fund, the incredible work they do. Um, when you're doing eight shows a week, as everyone in this room knows, on Broadway, very little would make you want to do a ninth. But the work that the Actors Fund does makes you do that ninth for this cause. For us, our ninth show was also our final performance of our 18 weeks of, of performing some 150 performances, all of which I went to. My poor understudy. She, I almost wanted to get sick just for her. But um, uh, anyway, uh, Thank you to the Actors Fund. Thank you to this wonderful Broadway community. And I'm inspired, you're inspiring, and it's oh so much fun to be part of this world. Thank you. Thank you.